Hi, welcome to my channel, Make It With Miranda, where I make over furniture and do a variety of DIYs. So join me while we get creative and make something beautiful. A friend of mine gave me this toy chest for free that was in her daughter's room. I showed it to my younger brother and he asked if I could give it a makeover for his little boy's room. He let me know what style and colors he liked and I went from there. First I began with removing the lid to the toy chest and all the hardware. Then I moved on to the base of the chest. This one was chipping and I knew I wanted to try out the beautiful base that the DIY wife makes on her channel. Please go check her out for a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make the wood base. Next, I used mineral spirits to clean my entire piece. It is important to clean your furniture before painting. You don't want to paint over top of any kind of residue. Then I gave the lid of the toy chest a quick sanding before moving on to filling any holes from removing the hardware. I didn't have the key to the lock, so I knew I had to get rid of that. The handles were decorative and I was going for more of a simple look, so I removed those as well. Time to work on the chest. Once the wood filler was completely dry, I gave it a quick sanding. The paint was quite thick on this piece, so I had to use quick strip to remove it. When using a paint stripper, please follow all the safety guidelines. I chose to wear a mask even though I was outside, and this stuff is really quick. It takes 15 minutes to do its thing before you start scraping it off.
For the primer, I started with Kills Primer, then used a second layer of Rust-Oleum Matte Gray Primer to make sure none of the uneven colors for the wood would peek through in the final paint. It's time for my favorite part, painting. And for this piece, we chose Melange's Sunday Gray. It was my first time using this paint and I highly recommend it. It goes on so smooth, coverage is amazing, and a little really goes a long way with this mineral paint. We are getting close to the end. The next step is to make a new wood base. I saw this base on DIY Wife's YouTube channel where she does a step-by-step -step tutorial. This is her original design and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So please again go check out her channel and all the beautiful work she creates. Here I'm using 
one by threes from Home Depot to create the aprons and two by twos for the legs. Here I'm staining the pieces for the wooden base. I'm using Minwax Dark Walnut. I think this dark color will be a great contrast with the light Sunday Gray. After I screwed in the base to the bottom of the chest, I move on to putting three coats of polyacrylic to the entire piece. It's finished. Here's the before and here's after. I think this piece turned out gorgeous and will be a great addition for my nephew's bedroom. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, hit subscribe, and I will see you again soon.